time ago a war broke out between two kingdoms the large kingdom was very powerful while the small kingdom was very weak small kingdom was sure of its defeat because the number of its soldiers were very less the army of the larger state was about 10 times larger than that of the smaller state the generals of the small kingdom refused to go to war because they were certain about their defeat they were thinking that with such a small army it would be foolish to fight with such a large army therefore it is better that we accept defeat without fighting and accept all the demands of the neighboring state even king could not put much pressure on his generals and soldiers because even he was aware of this fact but the king was very brave he did not want to give up without fighting when the generals and soldiers were reluctant to go to war then the king went to a monk living in a village in his kingdom the monk was very famous in that state and everyone respected him very much the king told his concern to the monk the monk listened to the king carefully and said king you make me the commander of your army the king was surprised to hear the words of the monk and said sir you are a monk and you have no experience of war the monk smiled and said king you do as i tell you the king had great faith in the monk so he made him commander of his army when the army came to know that they were going to fight under the leadership of a man who had no experience in war and who does not know how to even hold the sword properly they were even more afraid but the monk was in great enthusiasm the king also had full faith in the monk the army had no choice but to go to war with the monk anyways they all left for the war armed with all their weapons on the way there was a small temple the monk stopped outside the temple and told his army that before leaving let us take the blessings of the almighty and also ask him what is his wish whether we will win this battle or we will lose if almighty gave us in that we will lose the war then we will go back but if there is a sign of victory from the god then we will proceed for the war although all the soldiers were very scared they all gathered outside the temple the monk worshiped for some time then he took out a coin from his pocket and shouted in front of the soldiers he said i will toss this coin up if it falls upside down it means we will lose the war and then we will return but if it falls straight then it means our victory is certain and then we will go out for war without any fear all the soldiers were looking at the monk with great curiosity the monk tossed the coin up in the air the coin fell on the ground and it fell straight the monk shouted with joy and said leave all the worries eliminate all the fear our victory is certain now no one can defeat us because now almighty has given us hint of our victory the whole army was filled with full enthusiasm now the hope of victory was confirmed in everyone's mind with great enthusiasm they went straight and clashed with the enemy there was a fierce battle between both the armies every soldier of the monk's army was filled with the sure hope of victory after some time they started to dominate the enemy's army and finally the army of the monk won the battle while returning while they were passing nearby that temple the monk said let us thank almighty before leaving all the army gathered outside the temple and started thanking the god they all were saying oh god thank you so very much that you have made us win 
had you not indicated us about our win we would have lost just then the monk shouted and said before you thank god just look at the coin that is lying in my pocket the monk took out the coin and showed it to all it was a fake coin which was straight from both the sides it could not fall upside down the monk said don't thank the god for your victory you have won because of your self belief because you were sure to win if you were not sure of your victory you could have lost too therefore the biggest reason for this victory is your firm belief that victory will be yours if we see in our lives then we will find that the success of all things in our lives also depends upon whether we are filled with hope to achieve it or not self confidence is very important for success in any work it has been seen that sometimes people with positive thinking and even with less ability can do such things with their self belief that which people with full capability fail to do due to their low self belief therefore the only thing we get to learn from this story is that it is not a big deal to be capable but it is more important to have hope and have self belief when you give your full dedication to the work then you will definitely achieve success there is a great power in positive thinking it helps a person to take right decision even in the worst situation and suggest a way out of it therefore no matter how was the time you are going through always remember that the positive thinkers sees the invisible feels the intangible and achieves the impossible